Happy Sunday, brothers and sisters. This is the beginning of week two of our hashtag Live Lent devotional study. In John chapter 2, verse 11, it says, Jesus did this, the first of his signs in Cana of Galilee, and he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. The Gospel of John describes the miracles of Jesus as signs. Jesus brings healing and transformation. This is healing for the sick, feeding the hungry, raising the dead, even changing several large barrels of water into the very best wine. The signs are never meant to be the end of the conversation, though. They always are meant to point to God and to the work that he is doing. These signs help us to see and understand the change that Jesus brings to our lives and to our communities. Jesus showed us through his life and by who he was that God is with us in both the joys and the messes of life. And even more so, they tell us that God's presence is always transformational. God is with us, active and changing lives, even right now, right here, right with you and, my, you and me. This week, we have the opportunity to reflect, reflect on God's glorious transformation and to pray that we might be more open to all that God wants to do in our lives and through our lives. So let's get into today's reading. Today we're looking at John chapter 2, the first 11 verses, so 1 through 11. It says, The next day there was a wedding celebration in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the celebration. The wine supply ran out during the festivities, so Jesus' mother told him, They have no more wine. Dear woman, that's not my problem, Jesus replied. My time has not yet come. But his mother's mother told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars used for Jewish ceremonial washing. Each could hold between 30 and, or 20 and 30 gallons. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. And when the jars had been filled, he said, now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants followed the instructions. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course his servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first, he said. Then when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine. But you've kept the best wine until now. This miraculous sign at Cana in Galilee was the first time Jesus revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Here in John chapter 2, Jesus attends a wedding at Cana where disaster strikes. The wine ran out. Jesus' mother asks him to help. So at Jesus' instruction, the water is poured into some large jars filled to the brim. As the water is then drawn out from the jars, it's transformed. Water has become wine, and not just any old wine, but the very best wine anyone had tasted. Now John describes this miracle as the first of his signs. The glory of God present in the Word made flesh is seen also in the miracle of this transformation. God takes the ordinary and the exhausted and makes it new and wonderful. Now that's really encouraging, isn't it? That's the glory of God. And we see it in Jesus, and we see it every time a life is transformed by God. Now, as we pause here, are there any areas in your life where you feel ordinary? Maybe even like you've run dry, like the jars of wine in our story. Name them and offer them to God like an empty water jar. Today, ask God to show you some of the ways that he's worked transformation in your own life where he's brought you new life, where he's brought new life into your weary and run out bones. Today, as a way of witnessing to our faith, find someone that you can share with how God has been transforming you. Use this as a way to talk about how God can transform their life as well. Be blessed today.